Soil School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by The Mosaic Company. I'm Kelvin Hepner for Real Agriculture down at uh, Barrett County, Minnesota for a field day and pleased to be joined by Jared House of Grant County Water and Soil Conservation. And Jared, this demonstration, very visual. Uh, can you fill us in on, on what, uh, what the concept is that you're trying to get across here? Yeah, the concept here is, uh, so what we're looking at is uh, we looked at various samples from, a, uh, from CRP land um, and no-till uh, plots with cover crop up to conventional till and kind of uh, what this, this, this apparatus does is it simulates different wind speeds across these samples. And what we can do is then visualize and capture with, we have some tacky paper here and some, some cotton cloth here uh, sprayed with an oil to collect a lot of the, the sediment that, it, that comes off of uh, off the different samples. Um, and what we saw was that with our, when we had that more residue and soil that's less disturbed, we get a lot less uh, wind erosion or a lot less of that, uh, that sediment leaving, leaving the field itself and, 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 and entering uh, well in, in real life applications in either a road ditch or a water ditch or just off the field in general. Yeah, I was going to say, just picture, that's the, that's the ditch right there yeah, full yeah. With, the, with the snurt in, yeah, in with winter. Yeah, the snurt, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Though my whole thing here is uh, don't flirt with snurt. We kind of want to keep that soil in place where it's most valuable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, in terms of obviously having uh, plant material residue is obviously better for maintaining, reducing the amount of, of small particles that are moving. We did notice the large particles in the in the tilled soil. The large particles still stayed behind. Yes. Yes, they did. Uh, well, we simulated up to I think it was 43 miles an hour, and so yeah, a lot of a lot of those bigger clods did stay in the field, and they do protect some of the smaller stuff, just like a. Uh, uh, a field windbreak or a fence row wood in the field uh, protecting that soil from moving off. However, there is a lot more loose soil on that conventionally tilled. It gets a little bit more fluffier. And so when we when that wind comes across it, it's easier to, to take off uh, out of the field. Mm -hmm. So farmers, I think, for decades now have been reducing the amount of tillage. At least the general trend has been yeah. towards reduced tillage. Why do we still have issues with snurt? So there's there's a a, a lot of lot of things at play. Uh, I'm not a hundred. I'm not an expert at it, right? But one of my observations is we've just like we've had increased rain events where we may not get a lot of rain, but when we do, we get it all at the same time. Winds seems to be trending that way as well. So we have a lot more uh, wind events. So uh, in in West Central Minnesota in the fall of 2020, we had a lot of wind that moved a lot of soil. Um, so yes, we're it's, it's like we're almost running in place. So we're reducing our tillage, we're having more re residue, but the wind's picking up and catching up with us. So it's just kind of observing and what can we do to, to stay ahead of, ahead of the weather. And I think, just to wrap up here, Jared, I think many farmers would, this is easily understood, this is something yes. like going back to the 1930s, of course, yeah. this is what caused the Dust Bowl, but a very visual demonstration like this, I think, yeah. is, uh, is a good reminder. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And it's a good reminder for myself every once in a while. That's why I like to kind of do this, uh, is to just remember what we can do to protect, protect our soil, keep it profitable. All right. Thanks for your time, Jared. Yep, thank you very much. Appreciate it.